WFC 7C first lightweight title fight for the champion's belt of WF 17 MMA rules three rounds five minutes. The sponsor of the first sunway fight is Company Security Valina Juviana. Blue corner. 25 years, 70 kilo, 175 centimeters, 10 wins, one loss. Coming from Poland, Piotr Halma. In the red corner, 23 years, 70 kilo, 170 centimeters, 11 wins, one loss, one draw. Coming from Montenegro, Vasso Bokocini. WFC fans, buckle up. This is going to be a train crash. We have got a WFC lightweight title bout, under 70 kilogram, lightweight division, pitching Piotr Holman of Poland as a late replacement for Bojan Kosedna. Here we go, you ready? You ready? And the man they call the Montenegrin psychopath. Vasso Bakocevic. Both fighters have only lost one. There's a big right hand from Vasso Bakocevic. He caught Holman there. Well, this was always going to be lively. And it's a big, big, big. As Holman comes back now, piles on the pressure. That was a mad rush. And he tries to take Bakocevic down to the ground. Well, this is sparky to say the least. Vaso Bekocevic in the black trunks. Piotr Holman of Poland in the white MMA shorts. So, they go to the corner and it's underhooks. In the corner working. Petrovic trying to find the space to maneuver, couldn't make it work. This is going to be a real war of attrition. Bojan Kosedna was the original opponent for this bout. Piotr Holman, who incidentally is uh, a naval officer in the Polish Navy. Came in last minute to take on Bekocevic. Well, Holman making a comeback, but Bekocevic takes him to the ground. Bekocevic gets the monitor, Monica, the Montenegrin psychopath, and you can see why. So Holman, 25 years of age, 70 keys, and he's got a choke from behind. Bekocevic got some blood to the nose. And he takes Bekocevic down. And Bekocevic outside of the ropes. Referee Grant Waterman allows it. There goes the kicks. And Holman this time to the match. And this was always going to be absolutely full throttle. Bekocevic trained by Dragon Tesanovic and Alexander Radiosaljevic, the innovators of Serbian Jiu Jitsu. Is Bakocevic going to have a chance to bring this into play? Bakocevic looking for an arm, he's got an arm bar on. Holman out. Holman manages to leverage out, and Bekocevic in trouble. From the side mount. Do you see, Alexander? And there's the ground and pound. And Bekocevic taking real punishment here. Holman 
bringing the knee in, trying to come out of that half guard into the full mount. Bekocevic in all kinds of trouble here now. And in fairness, Bekocevic set the tone of this at the weigh-in with very aggressive behaviour. Holman has been as cool and as calm as would befit an officer and a gentleman. However, with one minute, ten seconds left in round one, this is turning out to be a full throttle roller coaster. It always had the potential of being lively, but that's an understatement here. Referee Grant Waterman watching every nuance here. And Holman drives the knee in from the top. Bekocevic driven to the ropes. Bekocevic having to dig deep here. And there's the knee strike. Bekocevic goes down. Herkar Holman now going into another gear. And the ground and pound goes in. Bekocevic in all kinds of trouble here. Trying to pull Holman in. Vaso Bakocevic on the 10 second clap up. Can he survive the round? Holman moving to side control. And on the bell, this has turned out to be an absolute battle from hell. And the rage emanating from Vaso Bekocevic. He was outgunned here in this first round and he might have to have a doctor's check because I don't know whether he'll be able to continue. Grant Waterman looking in on, leaving it to the experts. But this was furious. It was fast. And this could turn out to be an absolute bloodbath. Scheduled for three five-minute rounds. Seconds out. This has turned out to be one of the main events here tonight. So Bekotrovic trained with Tesanovic and Radicanovic in Belgrade. Then off he went to Golden Glory to work on his stand-up. Then he went to Stockholm to work with the shoot fighter team. Which way is this going to go? The cut on the right eye of Vaso Bakocevic opening up again now, even after the work that the blood team have done. Petar Holman has a focus to this that is extremely cold and calculating. He's delivered a lot of pain. Come inside the ropes. Kocevic driving forward there. Trying for a sweep. Stop, 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 stop. Go, go there, go there, go there. Muscle, muscle. Well, referee Grant Waterman demanded that the corner look at that eye. And I have to say, I don't think it will continue. And the referee has stopped it. Grant Waterman has stopped the fight. And Vaso Bakatovic in all kinds of trouble here from the performance tonight. An absolutely ice cold performance from Piotr Holman from Poland who takes 
the WFC lightweight belt after one of the most brutalizing MMA encounters that I've ever come across. Ladies and gentlemen, we have the winners of the fifth fight of the evening in the first lightweight title for the champion belt WFC. The winner is because of technical knockout in the blue corner, Piotr Halma. <laughs> and Piotr Halma from Poland is the new WFC champion in the lightweight category. Well, for all the postulating, for all the pre-fight aggravation, Vaso Bakotovic has shown himself to be a true warrior, Yoder. gracious in defeat. Yoder. It was the best fight so far in the WFC 17. You are the champion. What to say after the glorious fight against Vaso Bakotovic? Thank you, public. You are Thank you, everybody. I love you. Really nice fight. Tough. I hope you are enjoying it. A lot of action. Thank you, everybody. Piotr Halma, the champion of the lightweight category WFC.